Coming up next, the American dream goes to Hollywood. After being mentioned in the film Sex and the City, one startup firm is hoping to profit from seconds of fame. The Wall Street Journal's Wendy Bounds will tell us all about this company. It's coming up only on the call. We'll be right back. All right, only one thing better than scoring the hottest accessory item of the season, and that's landing a role in the number one romantic comedy of the season. Online retailer Bag, Borrow, or Steal did just that. Here to tell us more, Wendy Bounds, small business editor, Wall Street Journal. Uh, a rare treat to have you in the building down here. Nice to see Thank you. Thank you, Dylan. Um, so Sex in the City, the movie, that's the company. How'd they pull it off? They are very lucky. This is an example of one little company who took the 15 seconds of fame that they had. They had forewarning about it, and they've basically milked it to their best week of sales yet. This is a company that lends people handbags, expensive handbags, Gucci, Prada, for a few uh, dollars or a few hundred dollars a month to paint on the bag. Six months ago, they got a call from the producers of Sex and the City. They said, you have a line in the movie where one of the characters talks about using your using your Service, company. Yeah. You can't buy that. Well, you can buy that, but it costs millions of yes. dollars. And if you're a small company, you don't want to pay that. So they went on and they have milked this again to sort of promote themselves and have this uh, wonderful 15 seconds, then translate into sales going forward the, for months. The question, I mean, basically, were they just lucky? In other words, if I'm a small business, right. is there, everybody talks about product placement in Hollywood. Is there any trick to that, or is it just a matter of time, right time, right place? It's both. In this sense, they were lucky, but they could have blown this piece of luck. What they did was they launched on their site a sort of sex in the city portal, all right? You can go on there and you can find your purse, P-U-R-S, personality, your sex in the city sure, personality. Sure. They had contests. They basically scoured the paparazzi's photos on the internet to find out which handbags were going to be in the movie, so they made sure they had those in stock. They launched a new sunglass line and touted that along with sex in the city. These are all very small things they did that didn't break the bank, but it's it's really positioned themselves to take right. advantage of this movie, which is doing gangbusters. I mean, sure. 55 million over the past weekend, surpassing Indiana Jones. Yeah. You can't ask for more the, than that. And your point ultimately is you can't control what you can't control, but when things that are not in your control go your way, you can control the degree to which you exploit that. That's a mouthful, but I think, yes, I agree with that. <laughs> and, the, and the key is really just to sort of be ready for it, but not to break the bank. If they had gone out and ordered tons of inventory, they might have been stuck holding the bags, too many bags, right. per se. But I think they managed it very well, and we're going to see this actually catapult them further uh, right. in the weeks and the months to come. Which that second portion with all the image, that goes into the category of don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. I mean, don't think that this movie is necessary. This movie could have flopped. Could have flopped. been a bomb. Right. They could have had a character who sure. says their name, and that character could have been a very unlikable character. Yeah. Not the case. They're very fortunate. This mention is a beautiful mention for them in the right. movie. Classy character, Jennifer Hudson, and I actually think they've managed this incredibly well. Uh, and I think you manage everything you do incredibly well. It's well, fun to talk to you. Thank you, Dylan. All right, Wendy Bound, small business editor, Wall Street Journal. And Melissa, what's going on? Such a flatterer. Up next, the last call. Final thoughts from today's guest contributor, Leo Hendry, straight ahead, only on the call. You seem pretty interested in those handbags. Yeah. You're watching CNBC First in Business Worldwide. Nice we'll be right purse. back. <laughs>